Uh, morning, YouTube. It is 5.04 in the morning. Uh, and today's topic is dynamical dark energy. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome to space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, are mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? So, uh, we need to do a recap. What is dark energy? Uh, we've talked about dark energy in the past. Basically, uh, well, so we have dark matter and dark energy. And they are dark because we can't detect them. But we know that they're there, or at least we think we know that they're there because we see, uh, we see some activity in the universe that... Um, uh. some activity that's going on and when we do our mathematical models and we plug in certain numbers um, there's supposed to be this other force this other coefficient this other um, variable in our math that we can't explain um, so we call it dark so <laughs> what's going on here so with dark energy we're looking at the at the universe and the expansion of the universe so we have this theory called big bang uh, back in you know way 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 long time ago everything was very condensed there's this big bang uh, where the universe expanded very quickly in an instant and then since that instant the universe has been expanding more slowly. Um, we we observe our universe and it is still expanding. Uh, but the theory, I guess, originally goes, well, if you have this quick expansion and then you have further expansion, eventually this expansion will slow down and then stop. And then maybe some theories say that the expansion, you know, reverses. Um, well, we plug those numbers in <sighs> into our math and something didn't work. So then we took a look at a universe and we realized, well, okay, A, the universe is still expanding and B, it's not slowing down. <laughs> uh, and not only is it not slowing down, it, the expansion is actually speeding up. So we rewrote our math uh, and we couldn't account for it. So we decided to add a variable because, uh, hey, whenever your math doesn't match reality, you change your math, right? Um, what is this variable called? I don't know. So we need this extra energy to explain this uh, expansion. Uh, we'll call it dark energy. So, you know, humans being the way we are, uh, we make it easy. Let's let's just make it a constant. This this dark energy is is a constant number, uh, and let's see if that explains. So we 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 redo our math. We you know crunch the numbers, um, and that's not working either. So you know not only is our universe expanding, um, it's expanding faster. It's not expanding slower. Uh, the expansion is, is accelerating, it's increasing in speed, uh, or increasing in acceleration. Um, and not only is it not doing it at a constant rate, it's doing it at a variable rate. So the acceleration of expansion is changing. Um, is it changing to the faster or changing to the slower? I'm not sure if we know that yet, but it's just not, it's not a constant change. Um, and so that's where dynamical dark energy comes in. It's dynamical because it's not constant. It's not static. It's, it's changing. It's dynamic. That's what all that means. Uh, so how do we know this? Again, we observed our universe. It's expanding. The expansion is accelerating. And it's accelerating not at a constant rate. Um, what exactly are we looking at? Uh, I'm not entirely sure you know in, in the past I've read articles where they talk about I mean you could you could maybe look at 
at the various galaxies and but the thing is you know, everything's in motion anyway so just looking at galaxies doesn't get you to the idea that oh things are expanding I mean there's there's this idea of um, uh, what's it called it's like a um, a resident I forget what it's called it's like resident radiation or background radiation in the universe or uh, it's a low level it's like a low level background radiation and they're saying that was there uh, since the Big Bang and it, it's what powers the expansion yeah but again it's dark energy we can't detect it we can't figure out where it is because even with this low level radiation they do all their math and do the calculations and we're missing a bunch of energy to explain the expansion of the universe so so this is one of those cases where you know we see something we observe something our math doesn't work so we plug in some extra variables to help explain it and so now we're going to go search for that variable and that's what dark energy is and we haven't found it um, so I just read this article like a week ago and I like this article because it shows that even even when we're guessing, um, <laughs> sometimes we just guess wrong. <laughs> or, you know, we're guessing in this direction and actually the answer is, is kind of over here. It's just a little, a little, bit, a little bit off. Um, and, you know, just when we think that we understand something that's going on, nope, we have no idea. Something completely, or in this case, not completely, but, you know... Uh, again we're, we're making guesses and, and guessing is good I mean when when you don't know something it's it's good to guess and then go see if your guess is right uh, yeah our guess is still wrong it's just slightly wrong uh, but maybe with this you know refinement because a lot of science is that way that that iterative process where you you guess you test uh, you measure and if you're wrong, maybe you guess again, and you test again, measure again, and then you refine your answer, guess again, test again, refine your answer. And so, you know, this iterative process, this is just an iteration, another iteration in our search for what's actually going on in our universe. But again, I like it because, you know, these days, sometimes we're just like, Oh yeah, we, we know all the answers of the universe. No, we we know practically none of the answers of the universe. Um, and so I like this. So our search goes on in trying to find what we call dark energy, trying to find the explanations of the universe. I like it. Keep keep going, scientists. You're getting a little closer. All right, I gotta have to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.